In a memorable episode of Saved by the Bell, called Jesse's Song, Jesse Spano faces problems with caffeine pill addiction due to the stress of high school geometry. One of the most unforgettable moments occurs when Zach confronts Jesse about her issue right before she is supposed to perform at the max. The episode, Her Cups Runneth Over, of the show Married with Children caused controversy with its saucy hijinks in a lingerie store. A woman from Michigan started a boycott, but it only made more people watch the show and its ratings soared. In the episode, The Boys in the Bar, Sam supports his former teammate who reveals he is gay. However, the group worries about the bar being labeled as a gay bar. Sam faces a dilemma as he worries about balancing the needs of his regular customers with potential new gay customers. It's not that this episode wouldn't fly today, it's just that this type of storyline feels like old hat even for the 1980s. In this episode of Full House, DJ goes on a crash diet and overexerts herself with exercise, leading to a collapse at the gym. The episode attempts to address the sensitive topic of anorexia but resolves the issue too quickly. The Bicycle Man two-parter from Different Strokes features a creepy bicycle repairman who bathes the children, drugs them, and shows them explicit photos. It's mind-boggling that this storyline made it to air. In a season 2 episode of The Facts of Life, Blair's cousin Jerry, a comedian with cerebral palsy, pays a visit. The episode aimed to teach acceptance and understanding to viewers, but unfortunately, it portrayed Jerry using stereotypes that didn't fully demonstrate her as a thoughtful person beyond her disability. In a season 5 episode of Too Close for Comfort, security guard Monroe is kidnapped and sexually assaulted by two women. The rest of the episode revolves around Monroe trying to press charges while the police advise him to avoid the trial due to negative attention. In an episode of Star Trek, The Next Generation's first season, the crew visits Ligon 2 to negotiate for a vaccine, but the seemingly friendly Ligonians trick them and kidnap Lieutenant Tasha Yar. The Ligonian's portrayal as feudal African tribes has been criticized as potentially racist, leading to negative feedback and the episode being frequently skipped. The Freeze Company episode, The Charming Stranger, caused a stir among fans when an eagle-eyed viewer spotted a part of Jack Tripper's scrotum hanging out of his shorts. Nickelodeon subsequently edited the episode for future airings, but John Ritter requested that both versions be aired. In this episode from Mr. Belvedere's second season, when one of Wesley's friends, Ina Fried, is found to have acquired immune deficiency syndrome, he is pulled out of school because many other parents are unsure and afraid. This makes Wesley fearful of catching the disease, so he avoids Ina and stops being friends with her. In this eighth season doubleheader of All in the Family, Edith is unknowingly attacked by a serial rapist in her own home, while her family prepares for a surprise party next door. After the assault, Edith's family supports and comforts her while also trying to find the person responsible for the attack. In the season premiere of the comedy series Benson, the main characters and their friends are on a cruise ship where a dangerous murderer is secretly on board. 
As the vacationers are being stabbed to death, humorous chaos ensues. In this episode of Lost in Space, the characters encounter an alien princess and a silver-skinned bounty hunter, leading to a duel to save one of their own. The episode faced controversy and was banned due to protests from the Hispanic community over the portrayal of the character Chavo. In one episode of The Facts of Life, Natalie is attacked after a Halloween party, leaving her with agoraphobia. This very special episode raises questions about its appropriateness for television today. In the season 4 finale of Mr. Belvedere, Wesley becomes a victim of inappropriate touching at his day camp, leaving him feeling scared and guilty. The counselor tells him to keep it a secret, and Wesley is unsure about what to do. In a two-parter of different strokes, Arnold and Kimberly are picked up by a serial killer while hitchhiking. Arnold escapes and the authorities catch up with Kimberly before she's done in by the killer. In a season 2 episode of Webster, George and Catherine plan to rent a new home, a supposedly haunted Victorian house with hidden walls and mysterious openings in unexpected places. The special Halloween episode portrays the family dealing with stereotypes about voodoo and witchcraft, which may have been funny at the time, but the episode presents cultural practices in a way that could be seen as insensitive and offensive by today's standards. In a season 5 episode of Laverne and Shirley, Laverne's boyfriend, a fireman played by Ted Danson, tragically dies while on duty, leading to a focus on Laverne's emotional journey as she copes with the loss. In this episode from Star Trek, The Next Generation's first season, the Enterprise goes to a planet called Angel One, where women are in charge, to look for survivors from a disabled Federation freighter that crashed seven years ago due to an asteroid collision. Unfortunately, the episode is criticized for promoting misogyny or at the very least having a little fun with a world where men are diminutive to women. Modern viewers aren't super keen on the episode, but it could just be that it's not one of the best from a beloved series. In Season 5, Episode 2 of Three's Company, titled, And Justice for Jack, Jack faces harassment at work and is wrongly labeled as a womanizer in court, with homophobic slurs being used by Furley. In The Jeffersons, George attends a meeting about dealing with crime, only to discover it's actually an attempt to recruit members for the KKK. It's safe to say that this episode wouldn't make it past the idea stage today. I Dream of Genie was a popular 1960s TV show about an astronaut who finds a genie and their relationship. The show's ratings dropped after an episode where they get married, leading to its cancellation. In this distressing episode of Punky Brewster, there's a dangerous serial killer on the loose in Chicago who has already killed seven people. Punky and the other girls she lives with are aware of the scary situation, and Punky is particularly worried about Henry, who is like a father figure to her. The episode, In Concert, from WKRP in Cincinnati depicted a real-life tragedy involving people being crushed at a concert, 
airing just 11 weeks after the actual event occurred. Despite its ambitious concept, the episode tried to advocate for banning festival seating, which was not suitable for a sitcom. An episode from Bewitched's seventh season called Sisters at Heart follows the story of Lisa Wilson, an African-American girl, visiting her friend Tabitha Stevens, a white girl. The episode includes multiple white actors in blackface, which undermines its positive intentions. In a 1957 episode of Leave it to Beaver, there was a scene that showed part of a toilet, which was quite rare for television at that time. The original debut episode of Leave it to Beaver had to be delayed for a week because of issues with the Network Standards and Practices group. In the episode, Lucy is on Sant, from I Love Lucy, Lucille Ball's character, Lucy, confides in her friend Ethel about some health issues she's been facing, like weight gain and low energy. Ethel suspects that Lucy might be pregnant and takes her to the doctor, who confirms it. Lucy plans to tell her husband, Ricky, about the pregnancy in a special way but faces constant interruptions, eventually requesting that Ricky perform a song called, We're Having a Baby, at the club. This episode aired in 1952 when talking about pregnancy on TV was considered very controversial, and while it may not seem like a big deal today it was mind-blowing by the standards of the 1950s. On Thanksgiving Day in 1986, the popular TV show Cheers aired an episode called, Thanksgiving Orphans. The characters in the bar shared their Thanksgiving plans and ended up forming their own makeshift family, including a food fight. Some people complained because it didn't align with a Stop World Hunger campaign. In this episode of Golden Girls, Dorothy's LGBTQ plus friend develops a romantic crush on Rose, played for laughs, showing the writer's lack of understanding of homosexuality. In the third episode of the third season of the original series of Star Trek, a device erases Captain Kirk's memory, leading him to start a new life with indigenous people portrayed as being modeled after Native Americans. The episode has drawn criticism for using white actors in brown face, which is now seen as culturally insensitive and makes it difficult to watch from a modern perspective. Music